near the beach, you can rent uh, kayaks. Head out to those twin islands we saw earlier. Fun little activity. Kailua Bay is the place to go if you're into wind sports. If you like windsurfing and kiteboarding, that's where you go. On the left side, you can look through the mountains back down into the uh, Honolulu Harbor area. Gives you a little bit of a perspective of where we are right now. So Kailua on the right side, the town on the left here is the town of Kaneohe. Up uh, towards the mountain beyond Kaneohe, you can see a big highway going up, that is the H3 Interstate. Beautiful drive across the mountains, so a lot of beautiful scenery on that. And then uh, in front of us, out on the peninsula here, this is all military. This is the uh, Marine Corps Station, Kaneohe. All the branches of the military have major facilities here on Oahu. So this is the uh, Marines. Later on the tour we will see the Army, the Air Force and the Navy as well. Behind tourism, military is our second biggest industry. There's a lot of military presence here. Then on the uh, left side below we have a little island. This is uh, Coconut Island. Coconut Island was used for a TV show way, way back. Shot the aerial photography for Gilligan's Island down there back in the day. The island uh, is now a uh, marine research facility for the uh, University of uh, Hawaii. So Coconut Island on the left, the uh, Marine Corps station there on the right. And then all these shapes that you see down here in the water, these are all coral reefs. So Kaneohe Bay is uh, well known for these coral reefs and for the big sandbar. Sandbars to our front right where uh, a bunch of boats out there. So at low tide the uh, sandbar is just inches deep. So people come out here with tour boats, walk around on the sandbar. You can rent kayaks, kayak out. And then on the weekends a lot of people with their private boats come out fill your cooler with some good food and drinks, head out to the sandbar, have parties out here. It's a pretty cool spot. You're standing about a mile out in the water, and then uh, you look up and around and you're surrounded by all these uh, beautiful mountains here. Straight ahead we have another uh, another little island that's uh, Chinaman's Hat. So the hat shape is uh, very obvious, everybody sees that right away. In Hawaiian the island is called Mokuli'i. Mokuli'i means little lizard. So the lizard is a little harder to figure out. So the legend is that one of the Hawaiian uh, gods, she was having a battle with a giant lizard, grabs the lizard by the tail, rips the tail off, and throws the tail into the water. So it's the tail sticking back out. The uh, mountain behind it is supposed to be the lizard, the uh, head is on the right side, the stubby tail on the left. So very typical for Hawaiian mythology, it usually relates around uh, landscape and how the gods created the landscape. People take kayaks out, climb the little hill on the uh, on the island. On the uh, right side below, up on the beach. That is uh, Kualua Ranch. Kualua Ranch is a popular tourist attraction. People come out here to zip lining, horseback riding, mountain 
biking and then tours to movie sets. So the next valley here to our front right is Kaava Valley. Shot scenes here for over 200 movies and TV shows. That includes uh, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, Jumanji, King Kong. Left a bunch of the uh, old movie sets standing so you can go around and visit those. The TV tours, bus tours, a lot of fun. As we fly around the mountains here, it's going to get a little bumpier, as you can feel already. The winds come across the mountains here and they swirl around a little bit, causes a little bit of turbulence. So below us here on the right side, this is uh, Kahana Bay. It's a beautiful little beach, uh, really nice setting here between the mountains. It's a state park, it's usually not uh, all that busy down there. So we are on the windward side of the island, this is the uh, rainy side. 90-95% of the time we have uh, trade winds here. So uh, trade winds here from the uh, east and they push clouds and uh, moisture up against the mountains here and then it rains. So the uh, mountains on our left side, the tops are usually covered in clouds. These mountains get over 300 inches of rain per year. It's a crazy amount of water. So this side of the island is always uh, very lush, very green. Now on the other side of the island, we got a couple places where we get less than uh, 10 inches of rain per year. 10 inches is a little bit more than Vegas gets, so very dry over there. Mountains have a brownish, uh, dry look to them. So we're going to make our way into this uh, valley here. Check out some waterfalls. So we're going to look up uh, the left side here first. So as you look up into the valley, you can see some small waterfalls there on top. You see some medium waterfalls there at the bottom. And the big waterfall is going to come into view in the middle there. And I'm going to be making some turns here. You can see it out of the front and uh, out of the right side. Also try to catch a glimpse down the a big hole at the bottom of the waterfall. 